Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Stone and welcome to my channel Accelerate and in this week's episode I'm very excited to show you guys how do we going to build a pie graph within a pie graph. So this is basically a combo pie graph that we can build in Excel which is very nice. Uh, so ba the basics of this one is you can see the inner pie graph shows the overview of the regions. So in this case we've got sales that we're tracking between the regions of Asia and Europe. So you'll see Asia as a total of sales was 64% and Europe as a total of sales was 36%. And this is nicely plotted within the middle pie graph. And then on the outer rims, it shows the breakdown of the countries within the region making up the most of the sales. So if you can see the data here, so India had 250 uh, sales here, uh, and the total for Asia was 450 and this gets divided by the total sales within all the regions and you get a little percentage split here. So guys, you can go grab the file I've left to you down below in the descriptions where you can have this file to inspect all the formulas. So it's basically just sums and then a percentage, uh, so basically the amount divided by the total here to get to these percentages as well. And then the pie chart on the outer room shows India had the most sales and sitting at 36% uh, and there you can see on the outer room 36 and the other uh, country within Asia was China with a 29% and the sum of the 29 and the 36 will give us the 64 making up the total of Asia. So it is a quite nice visualization of your data uh, sales to see where your top uh, most performing regions were so let's recreate this in excel guys so i'm going to go to sheet 2 here where the raw data is sitting here and before i go on just remember to hit this little subscribe button down below and uh, let's get straight into this one all right guys so basically to start off is we're going to choose our first series so let's start off with the outer room i'm going to highlight india and china with the corresponding Percentages are uh, holding in control to highlight these amounts individually and group them as well and then Ireland and England here in Europe and I'm going to click in the percentages as well So this is the highlighted range and I'm going to go into insert and I'm going to insert a donut chart So here's a donut chart showing us the regions so we can also link our chart title I'm going to highlight it left click on the chart title it equals and I'm going to link it to A1 and hit enter. So it will always show sales here. So whatever we change here in A, we, it's going to show in our graph here. So I'm just going to so resize our graph to show nicely as well. I'm, I'll do, I'm going to delete the legends for now. So I'm left clicking on the legends here down below and hit delete. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to select data here at the top and I'm going to add a series. So basically, I'm adding a series, series two. Don't worry as much for the name, but the values are important. I'll take out the values that's been preempted here. So I'm going to choose my second um, series, and this is Asia. So I'm going to click on B2, holding control, and that's the corresponding percentage is 64. And then also on Europe, uh, B5, and in E5 as well. And that's it. So we say OK. So now you'll see the outer room will have our second series and the inner room is our uh, countries. So I'm just going to switch it up. I want my series two to go one up. So you, did you see I just press this little up button and it switched. So our inner circle shows Asia and Europe and our outer rooms show the corresponding uh, countries. And we can hit OK. And now for the final step is we're going to go to change the chart type and we're going to change it to a combo chart. So the se second series should, should be a pie chart. So we're going to select on a pie. So there it shows the pie. And our first series should be a donut chart. So that's the donut chart here. And we're going to place it everything on top of each other. So there's no secondary axis and we're going to hit Okay, and there we go. That's perfect. So that's exactly what we wanted. Our inner pie graph and the donut chart uh, on the outer rims. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a quick layout here. And we're going to see 
which is going to choose this second layout here. So it shows England, but it, it doubles up England here to a 36, but that's incorrect. It should be Europe. So what I'm going to do, do is I'm just going to change it into the inside and I'm going to highlight England here. Double click on the England and we're going to choose a cell and the cell should be Europe. We're going to say OK and that effectively changes to Europe 36%. That's awesome. And there's also a China that's representing a 64%, which is incorrect. So I'm just going to shift it in the middle here and double click on China here. And we're going to choose a cell which shows Asia. We're going to say OK. And that's it, guys. And there will, there's also a India here that's incorrect. I'm going to delete that one and the Ireland here which is incorrect and there we go there's our little pie chart we can increase the font size here so let's increase the font size so it's nice and readable for you folks there we go that's perfect so guys we could also use this where let's say we're tracking a sales persons as well so let's say it was instead of a region we had shops so shops and in asia we had shop a and Europe we replace with shop B and we've got sale reps here so in India it's, it's sales rep 1 we can insert that and just let it slide and we're gonna say sales rep 2 and the same with our shop B control C those and I'm gonna just edit it here and control or we're just going to paste the values here paste the values and there you go you can see dynamically changed our uh, pie graph here it says shop b and shop a with the corresponding sales rep representing the sales that they've generated guys i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on a pie chart within a pie chart and that you're going to use this little application within your own worksheets remember to hit that a like button and this little subscribe button so that i can bring you more excel awesome videos guys from estonian accelerate cheers